valuable city space disappears beneath ribbons of concrete and steel. A highway network planned to coincide with the best land use could play an important part in the effective control of future urban development. City property is cleared to make way for broad freeways to handle the flow of traffic through the city and to and from suburbia. As more and more expressways are built, valuable city space disappears beneath ribbons of concrete and steel. Considering the problems of the changing city, many people are concerned with this question. Will the city survive as a nucleus for the metropolitan area? Or will the continuing decentralization of housing, industry and consumer markets slowly eliminate the large city as an important center of American life. Regional planning groups are attempting to solve the problems of urban sprawl. They realize that coordinated effort at all levels of government will be needed to make wise use of available land space. And that the population explosion will continue. By 1970, more than 200 million people will live in the United States. Hundreds of thousands of new housing units will be needed. But new subdivisions must be planned within a logical framework designed to make administration and servicing more economical. Before construction begins, planners must decide, is housing the best use for this land? Onward and outward go the subdivisions. One development here, another down the highway, competing to lure more people to the open spaces. Each housing tract is the dream of a subdivider who claims the finest in country living. But unfortunately, he seldom has the guidance of an overall plan that relates his subdivision to the total metropolitan development. patchwork of housing, a sprawling suburbia of the 60s. This characteristic pattern of urban sprawl is found around all our large cities. Eventually, as one subdivision blends with the next, urban sprawl destroys open space, the very thing that people are seeking in the suburbs. 
It creates ever-increasing problems of administration. How can city services be provided for each new tract? Who will be responsible for police and fire protection, for schools for the children, and road maintenance for the new streets?